Welcome to my music theory and reading music course. You can read every lesson in this series at your ease at pianotheoryexercises.com where you will also find interactive exercises to practice what you've learned. Below this video you will find links to those lessons and exercises on the website. Also below this video you will find a link where you can download this whole music theory course as a free ebook. So don't miss this opportunity. And if my lessons helped you, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks a lot! In a piece of music, not all the notes sound equally long. You have long notes, short notes and everything in between. And of course, you have to be able to write this note duration in your staff. And that is where this lesson, lesson 15 of the music theory series, is about. You can measure note duration in the number of beats that a note lasts. But what is exactly a beat? Well, you could say that when you clap together with the music, that normally it's so that every clap of your hand corresponds with one beat. So we're going to use this definition of the beat. So again, one beat corresponds to one clap with your hand when you clap your hands together with music. In the example, I put the three most fundamental values of note duration, which are the whole note, the half note, and the quarter note. The note duration of a whole note is that of four beats. The note duration of a half note is the half of the note duration of a whole note, so this is two beats. And finally, a quarter note has a note duration of one beat, so a quarter of one whole note. Now, in the beginning, this might seem a little bit confusing that a whole note is four beats. You would perhaps expect that a whole note is just one beat. Well, this is not the case. So why is a whole note four beats? This has to do with measures, and we will learn that in a later lesson. Anyway, in a music piece in 4-4 four, four time, which is most common, you have exactly four beats in one measure. So that's why a whole note, which fills exactly one whole measure, is exactly four beats. Now, to give you an idea of how the whole note, half note and quarter note sound, I will let you hear the next line. You see one whole note, one half note and two quarter notes. Before it starts, you will hear a metronome count four times. This is mostly done in music with 4-4 four, four time. The metronome will continue to count during the line. So listen well and count together with the metronome. Here it comes. Ok, so I hope that you count it together with the metronome. So if you listened well, you've noticed that the first note was 4 beats, the second note 2 beats and the last two notes were each 1 beat. I wanted to quickly say something about the stems that are on the notes, because they can be pointed upwards or downwards. Normally it's so that notes that are in the lower half of the staff have their stems pointed upwards and notes that are in the upper half of the staff have their stem pointed downwards, as you can see in this example. Note durations can also be shorter than one beat. Remember that the note duration for a quarter note is one beat. The note duration for an eighth note is half of that of a quarter note, so this is a half beat. You can write an eighth note as follows. So as a quarter note, but then with a flag. A sixteenth note has half the duration as that of an eighth note, so this is a quarter beat. And you write it with an extra flag, so this makes a total of two flags. And you can go on. A 32nd note has a duration of an 8th beat. Just add an extra flag, so for a 32nd beat you have 3 flags. And you can go on and on. You write a 64th note as follows, and so on. It is possible to beam 8th notes, 16th notes, etc. together in the following way. And it's even possible to make combinations, like this 8th note with two 16th notes. It's not always easy to count in music when you have 8th or 16th notes, because they're shorter than one beat. For example, try to count together with the next example. You will hear the metronome count 4 beats before it starts, and the metronome continues counting while the notes are played. Try to listen well, and try to notice how the quarter note lasts one beat, Listen also to the fact that there are two eighth notes in one beat and four sixteenth notes in one beat. It's possible to let a note sound 50% longer by putting a dot behind the note. 
Look at the next example. This is a quarter note with a dot. This means that the total duration is that of a quarter note plus 50% longer. So that's one beat plus a half beat, which is one and a half beat. Or look at this example, a half note with a dot. A half note is two beats, 50% longer makes that the total duration is three beats. And of course you can also do it with notes that are shorter than one beat. Like for example this eighth note with a dot. The total duration is that of an eighth note, so that's a half beat, plus 50% more, a quarter beat, so a half plus a quarter is three quarter beats. A combination that you find very often in music is the following. So the total duration is that of three quarter beats plus a quarter beat. So together this is exactly one beat. Now to give you an idea of how that sounds, look and listen to the next example. And as usual the metronome starts with four beats before it begins. How would you write down a note with a duration of two and a half beats? Well, you can do that as follows. First a half note, which is two beats, followed by an eighth note, which is a half beat. And then you can just tie them together. Now have we seen now all the note durations? No, there are more note durations, like for example the triplet. Here is an example of a triplet. This triplet has a total duration of exactly one beat, so there are exactly three notes in one beat. In the next example you can hear how this sounds. And as usual you will hear the metronome count to four before it begins. Now, of course, in order to master well these note durations, you have to practice a lot. On pianotheoryexercises.com you will find interactive exercises that will help you with this. You can find a link to the article with the exercises below this video.